everyone today we're going to be catching up with our blocks of the month and we're going to be starting with the single irish chain block um we did this in some of the workshops recently so this is just a refresher it's a quick video um and i hope you'll have lots of fun making it so the one i did i did in dairy milk purple whoop, whoop. Now, I know a lot of you have done Christmas ones, um, but I thought I'd be a bit different, you know me. So today I'm going to do it in children's fabric, just so we can see the difference between the two. So let's get right to it. Let's just move this forward. Off we go. Okay, instructions say... Uh, from each fabric, cut four three and a half inch squares from the light and four three and a half inch squares from the dark. Join the squares together, light and dark, dark and light, etc. Right. So I have got some rather jazzy football fabric. So we've got three and a half inch squares, and what we're going to do. We're going to join them right sides together and a quarter of an inch seam allowance as always and then we're going to press to the side. Let's bring this in then you can see and this really is a super fast tutorial today. Okay. sure you can actually see. Let's move it forward. There we go. Snippy, snippy. the way and then what I'm going to do is just give it a quick press and what would be helpful is if you could press one one way and one the other so that the seams meet so in true blue peter fashion here is another one that I made earlier Ta -da! so what we're going to do then well what you'll have is is something that looks like that so then what we're going to do is just spin one of them round so it looks like that, a bit like Battenberg cake. And then we're going to put them right sides together. And hopefully, if you've pressed your seams, one going one way, one going the other, it will nest quite neatly. And with a bit of luck, we might get a nice seam. So let's give that a go on the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. And you can always put a clip in as well. Let's find the clip. You can always put a clip just to hold your seam together. If it doesn't match, it's not the end of the world. Don't worry about it. quarter of an inch seam. Away we go. Put your needle down first, Helen. Right. Let's just pull that over. Line it up a little bit at the bottom if it seems to be escaping. of truth oh 
Oh, well, that's not too bad. I've had worse. Quick press. And then we'll get on with the next bit. Alrighty. So, you should have something that looks like that. But well, yours is going to be a million times better. So what we actually need is two of these. So I have made two here like this. So we're just going to pop them to the side and we're going to bring in our seven inch squares. Which are here. So the instructions say we have one seven inch square cut from each uh, fabric. Now then, what we're going to do now is we're going to put them right sides together. Well, obviously, if you've got a plain fabric, that doesn't matter. Right sides together. And you can pin, clip, or I am, as we all know, a very lazy quilter and I just eyeball it. So I just pop them on top of each other like this. Line them up as best you can. And we are going to draw a line from corner to corner. Okay. Let's see if I can make this a bit bigger. There we go. Oh, you saw my pyjamas then. Right. So corner to corner. Then we are going to do another line. Then I find my ruler and my chalk pencil. Okay. We are going to do another line a quarter of an inch either side of the original line. So there's the quarter of an inch. So I'm going to use my chalk pencil just to draw another line. Then I'm going to spin my block round and another line a quarter of an inch away from that central line not the line you've just drawn the central line and you should have something that looks like that so now we are going to stitch just a normal straight stitch straight stitch put your teeth in straight stitch along that line and another straight stitch along that line but we are not going to stitch in the center okay so let's do that centre. Should have changed my foot but never mind. And now what have I just said? I said don't stitch in the middle. What did I do? I stitched in the middle. So let's just undo that. I think we're going to have to have a bit of editing there. Okay. Okay. Here we are at the sewing machine and we're going to stitch down either side. Like so. That's 
one line. Snippy, snippy. And then, oh, come off. There we go. Then we're going to go down the other line. So remember, we're not stitching in the middle. It goes like that. go now what we're going to do so we stitched down this side and we stitched down that side and we didn't stitch down the center so what we are going to do is we're going to get our rotary cutter or our scissors and we're going to cut on that central line to make two triangles so i'm just going to do that off to the side Maybe two seconds let's cut that down the middle Okay, so we had like that, and now we've got it like that. And this is where the magic happens, because now when we open them up, ta-da, we've got our squares. Whoop, whoop. Yay. Right, so I'm going to give them a quick press. This is getting exciting now. I do wish I could stop knocking this camera. Right, that's one. And two. Now you can trim off the little dog ears if you want to. Um, it's up to you. So now we are going to construct our block. Let's move that out of the way. So let's bring these back in. Now, so this is where you can decide which fabric you want as the feature. So I think I'm going to go with the footballs. So I think I'm going to have my footballs going down like that. And I think gonna have it like that what do you think see the beauty of this square is we can switch this round and make it look completely different so we could have the black squares going down the center and have the side blocks doing that Oh, now, now I don't know which I like better now. Hmm. Hmm. I think, I think we'll go with the other way. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So now we're going to sew it together. So again you would fold you would place this one onto this side and so down there this one onto this one and so down there which i'm going to do right now and then i'll get back to you and we're back 
So once you've sewn this side to this side and this side to this side, you should have something that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is take the bottom and sew it to the top along the centre there. Okay, back in a moment. And there we go, one block. You can have it that way, you can have it that way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I just wanted to show a different way to use the block so that we can use our child friendly fabric <laughs> as well as Christmas fabric, as, red, as well as ordinary fabric. Really, I can't speak today. Goodness me, I must go to bed earlier. Right, so there we go. That's all from me for now. And I will be back with the next tutorial, which will be... Uh, the rail fence. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. Okay, I will go find my teeth and that's me. Okay, see you at the next one. Bye. <laughs>